Hello, my name is Howie Bernstein. I'm the component lead for the IBM Rational ClearTeam Explorer. I'm going to demonstrate the integration between the ClearTeam Explorer, the new graphical user interface for ClearCase, and IBM Rational Team Concert, a state-of-the-art project planning and lifecycle management tool. The substance of the integration between the ClearTeam Explorer and Team Concert are the relationships and traceability established between a Team Concert work item and ClearCase UCM activities or base ClearCase versions. I'll be using Rational Team Concert version 3001 and ClearCase version 8001 for this demonstration. However, many of the features I will demonstrate are available in earlier versions of the product. In this demonstration, I will show how relationships between Team Concert and ClearCase are established and how these relationships can be leveraged to improve your productivity. I will show you how to navigate between ClearCase assets and Team Concert work items and how to perform ClearCase operations from the context of a work item. Enabling the integration is as simple as installing both Team Concert and the ClearTeam Explorer into the same Eclipse shell. There are several ways to perform the installation, the simplest of which is to use the Eclipse installer to install both plugins. Installing both plugins is all that's required to enable the integration. What you see here is the Java perspective in the Eclipse IDE. The Java perspective includes a work items view that is currently showing the work items that are assigned to me and are new or in progress. New ClearCase assets are automatically associated with work items if I have a current work item set. Let's work on a new defect. First, I will change the state of the defect to in progress to inform the team that I'm working on the defect and then I will set the defect as my current work item. The current work item informs Team Concert that new source control assets should be associated with that work item. Since I've already diagnosed this defect and I know where to implement the fix, I will make that change to the source file. When I make the change, ClearCase prompts me to check out the file. Since I'm using UCM, I must associate a ClearCase activity with my change. I will create a new activity and then perform the checkout. Now, if I take a look at the work item, I see that the ClearCase activity has been linked. Let's go back and check in that change. Once I've made the change and tested it, there are several ways to go about getting a code review. I can create an approval on the work item or I can simply email the URL for the work item to the code reviewer. The code reviewer would open up the work item just as I've done here and show the ClearCase activity associated with the work item by double clicking on the link. Once I have the activity, I can see each new version created in the context of that activity and then do a comparison with the change set predecessor to perform the code review. I've just demonstrated the traceability between work items and UCM activities. It's easy to create associations and navigate from the work item to the activity to perform code reviews or perform other ClearCase operations on versions in the change set. Now I'm going to demonstrate the integration with base ClearCase. Let's start work on another work item and set that work item to be the current work item. We'll go and make a code change for that work item. Since this is base clear case, I don't need to create an activity to make this change, and the file is checked out automatically as soon as I start to change it. I'll just make a change to the comment. And this time, let's just check in the change. Let's take a look at the work item now, and we see that instead of a link to an activity, the work item contains a link directly to the new versions created in the context of this current work item. Here, we can get the context menu for the version and see that several clear case operations may be performed, including a comparison. Earlier, I discussed and demonstrated how setting the current work item allows associations to be created automatically. If you've forgotten to set the current work item, or if you need to change associations, you can do that very easily. Let's take a look at my activities in the ClearCase perspective. 
Here, I can choose an activity and take a look at the existing associations with work items. I can also remove existing associations and establish new associations. Let's say I had the wrong work item set when creating this association. I'll first remove the association and establish a new one to the correct work item. Likewise, I can do the same with file versions in a base clear case view. I can select the version of this file that's selected by the view and establish an association with a work item. If the file association needs to be created on a previous version of the file, I can open the version history, select the version, and associate a work item with the selected version. In the version history view, I can see just by scanning the versions which ones are associated with work items by noticing the difference in the version icon. If the icon is decorated, that means there is at least one work item associated with this version. I've just demonstrated how you can create and manipulate associations between ClearCase artifacts and Team Concert work items. This allows you to leverage the excellent project lifecycle management of Team Concert with the enterprise level configuration management of ClearCase. I hope you've enjoyed the demo. Thank you.